Since meeting you, my life has changed for the better. You bring me lots of joy and happiness. Thank you so much for making all my days sunny and warm. Now, Gino, let's keep it sweet and honest because we've seen a few tornadoes. What are a few? Jasmine and Gino, officially a married couple. You are now a husband and a wife, and yeah. you may seal your vows with a kiss. And maybe soon, an expecting mom and dad. We're gonna start uh, making a baby. Yes, they are planning on having a little Jasmine and Gino running around. <laughs> Can you imagine? Also, the shape of Gino's head isn't something we have to imagine anymore. If there was any chance to take a picture without the hat? For the sake of love, he takes the hat off. You will mean a lot to me. Just one picture of me. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Let's go get married, Coco. Let's go, Coco. Woo! Let's oh. get married. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, Jasmine's dog is excited for his mama and Gino's wedding day. He has Jasmine's personality. Gino and Jasmine's ceremony is set up beautifully, and it's intimate. I'm so glad Jasmine's family was able to join on Skype, and it's so touching to see Gino's family step in and make Jasmine feel so loved. It's helping me get a better understanding of who Gino is as a person and a clearer picture of his heart. I was almost in tears when Gino's uncle asked to walk Jasmine down the aisle. I always picture my wedding day as a happy day, but it was always my concern, like not having a father figure right. to walk me to the altar. And I will remember this as one of my most happiest memories. That's so great, oh, honey. He is a dad to Gino, you know, and that's the way I want to see him. Like, I never had that feeling of love and protection from a dad, and I am so happy. He's the best. God bless his heart. Wow. The things Jasmine worried about, not getting along with Gino's family on her wedding day, not having a father figure walk her down the aisle. In the end, it was all taken care of in such a beautiful way. How comforting is that? Today is a happy day. Today is a happy day. It's also so interesting how on wedding days, birthdays for some, special occasions, we declare it's going to be a happy day and we expect it to be one. And in a lot of cases, it turns out to be just that. <laughs> the power of intention and choosing to focus on the good. Thank you, good Mark. You're welcome. It's my honor. Oh. I can't look. Take your time. Take your time. Once Jasmine gets to the altar, she and Gino exchange vows. Thank you so much for making all my days sunny and warm. I'm so excited for our adventure to start together. You are the love of my life and my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if he was laughing or what, but turns out he's actually choking up. Te amo muchísimo. Sorry, forever and always. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has everybody teary-eyed. Jasmine goes on to hit Gino with a good old quote for the first line of her vows. There are two most important days in a person's life. The day they are born and the day they discover why. You know, you are my wife. That sounds healthy. I'm being facetious, but let me stop. These are her vows, and they're sweet. You came into my life when I was lost, but your unconditional love has saved me in all the ways. How did I get so lucky? I love you immensely, irrevocably, forever and always. I will undoubtedly Cross the entire world and move to the coldest place I ever know <laughs> just to be with you because you are my home. Hmm. To find someone who feels like home, oh, 
That's lovely. A peaceful home, not a chaotic one though, let's be clear. <laughs> because sometimes with Jasmine and Gino, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna get. It is my honor to pronounce that you are now husband and wife, and you yeah. may seal your vows with a kiss. They don't leave Jasmine out of it. They start chanting her name too. Thankfully, it clicked for somebody. Jasmine, 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 yeah. Coco in his little tux. Whew. After they say I do, they head to the reception where Jasmine thanks Gino's family for their support. I feel loved and accepted and that's the best wedding gift that I have received today. <laughs> See, this is the positive side of Jasmine's passion. As we know, it can be a double-edged sword. But in this case, it's allowing her to speak from the heart and express herself so beautifully. Next up, the newlyweds make a big announcement. Say it, baby. Well, somebody said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna start um, making a baby. No, right now. <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> this is huge. Gino has been upfront from the very beginning about how he wants a child. Ooh, I got these. What is that? Pregnancy test. He's 54 and he's never been a father. And for the most part, Jasmine, who is already a mother of two, has been hesitant. A few episodes ago, she got really vulnerable and shared that she's not against having another child. She's just afraid that the child might have special needs, like her youngest son. It's very hard for him to communicate. He doesn't have a verbal language. But what makes it difficult to have a child with a special needs is not the child, it's the people. It's, it's very hard, it's, it's not easy. What if I cannot give you a neurotypical kid? I don't know, you know, it scares me to death. I don't know if I... Gino made sure to comfort her and reminded her that her son, JC, is still a human being and that they're going to take care of him and it's not her fault. Jasmine went on to let Gino know that her children are lucky to have him and... If we ever have a baby, he or she's gonna be very lucky to have you as a dad. It was a touching moment. And for Jasmine to now be at a place where she's excited about announcing a potential baby shows that sometimes you just need to get your fears out, write them down, express them to someone who is supportive, just get them out of your head. From my experience, doing that helps to loosen the grip that that specific fear has on you. While they were taking their wedding pictures, Is any chance to take a picture we thought they had? Jasmine asked Gino to be courageous in the face of one of his fears. No. <laughs> you will mean a lot Just one picture of me. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what's going on in the back of Gino's head, but from the front, he looks just fine. Anyway, I'm proud of him for that. These two will be featured on the upcoming season of Happily Ever After. In the new trailer, they get a little kinky. Hmm. <laughs> the season will also include familiar faces like Lauren and Alex, Michael and Angela, and Nicole and Mahmood, who looks like he's gonna run away with Nicole's phone and credit card at some point. Mahmoud, 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 get in the car. Yeah, they are still having these dramatic fill in the blank fights. Like why? Why are your fights so intense and dramatic? Should y'all be together? Should it really be this stressful? Have you heard from Annalie? No, I haven't talked to her today actually. Sorry. Speaking of stressful, quick update on Annalie and Clayton. We are still waiting to see how their wedding ceremony is going to play out. This week's episode shows Clayton waiting for Annalie at the altar for the wedding that was supposed to start 30 minutes ago. But Annalie is nowhere to be found. I'm standing at the altar, all the guests have arrived. I'm ready, everyone in the audience is ready, and my bride is still not here. This comes after Annalie packed her suitcase last night 
and called her mom, contemplating if she should marry Clayton because he got extremely upset that she had a stripper at her bachelorette party. Nunca de nuevo en este mundo que eso pasa de nuevo. A stripper his sister booked for her. It's like Clayton, what are you so afraid of? Really? <laughs> Annalie's mom tells her if she doesn't go through with the wedding, she would be throwing away two years. Which was kind of sad to hear, because two years isn't long compared to signing up to be with someone for an even longer time or the rest of your life. And you're not confident in or happy with your decision. A part of me felt like she wanted her mom to give her permission to walk away from this relationship. Because if you ask me, the stripper situation was just the nail in the coffin. Annalise seems like she got the ick from Clayton the moment she arrived in the US from Peru. And saw his mom living in the closet of their one bedroom apartment, she saw his deep love for his guinea pigs, and then learned he had one friend, who at the time, he never met in person. And oh yeah, he prefers to play video games all day. You could tell in Annalie's body language and by the way she was avoiding getting intimate with Clayton that she's not really feeling him. But according to some reports, they did go through with the wedding and they are still together. Hey, she might be one of those people who don't marry for love. I don't know. Hopefully next week we will officially see what goes down. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.